Hello YouTube, this is Cyber Aquarius, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to conduct a nitrate test using API's nitrate test and CKIM's nitrite nitrate test kit. First thing I want to do is take this container of water, walk over here to the aquarium, and we'll keep it, see there's nothing in it. I'll walk over here. See, I've dipped this out of the aquarium. I'm going to keep this inside of the camera the whole time. Let me adjust the camera. Was it in, in the screen? I don't even know. Should have been. But I'm going to point it right down here. I'm going to come around here and conduct the test. Okay guys, this, this video is going to lead into a couple more videos where I talk about different methods for removing nitrates from your aquarium. First of all, let's go ahead and get this test started. This is the API 5mm uh, test tube. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out a couple times with the test water. Fill it to the line. More dry. Okay. I'll take bottle number one, solution number one, I'll shake it a little bit. Add 10 drops holding the dropper bottle, bottle vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, cap the test tube, invert a few times. Now what I do when I do any test with these test tubes, I'll tap on the cap several times, you know, just to keep the, the liquid going back into the test tube because when you pull it off, some of it could, could be up under there because of the water retention. Don't want to lose that, so just for better accuracy, I just hit it a few times. Pull the cap off slowly. Now, take solution number two. It's very important to shake this vigorously for 30 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, add 10 drops of solution number two, holding the dropper bottle vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, shake the test too vigorously for one minute. Seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. Okay, we'll set this right here, keeping it in view of the camera. All right, and we'll start Seachem's nitrate test kit. Fill the dropper to the base of the bulb. This is a more accurate test than APIs. Fill one of these, one of these uh, spots here in the tray. There's one. Two. Okay, now we take one drop of the nitrite test solution. This is where you would stop if you were performing a nitrite test. There's one drop. But for the nitrate test, you have to use one drop of nitrite and one level scoop of the nitrate test solution. 
Hey, you don't want to pack the scoop, you just want to get a scoop of the powder. And what I do is I take the card, and I rake it off flush. Okay, put that in there. And then stir. Uh, it takes five minutes for full color to develop on the API test kit and between five and eight minutes for it to develop with the uh, Seachem's nitrate test. All right, I stirred it with the, uh, the end that doesn't have the, the little scoop. So we're gonna let that sit. We'll talk here just for a few minutes. Okay, uh, I had a Placostomus, a rubber lip Placostomus die uh, at the beginning of this past week. We noticed it under the driftwood, so I pulled it out. Uh, my nitrates were lower than what they are now, but nitrates in the aquarium should ultimately be maintained less than 40 parts per million and ideally around 20 parts per million or less. In a reef aquarium, you need your nitrates to be close to zero or undetectable. Uh, in the past, nitrates weren't really considered a problem in aquariums. Many people really didn't know that higher nitrates could affect fish, but there is such a thing as nitrate poisoning, and certain fish are more susceptible to nitrate poisoning than others. Discus, for example, are fish that are very susceptible to be uh, prone to nitrate poisoning, and some of the symptoms are rapid breathing, uh, gills turning a grayish color, uh, fish uh, being listless, uh, not moving around much and in the severe cases the fish will curl its head in towards the tail and ultimately die and there are several ways to remove nitrates uh, they can be removed physically and they can also be uh, uptaken by plants uh, through utilization and by beneficial bacteria which uh, anaerobic bacteria consume nitrates nitrates are the end result of the nitrogen cycle in the aquarium and most uh, filters media I should say most filter media on the market today is designed to remove ammonia and nitrite but not nitrate because it doesn't provide anaerobic areas for the you know low oxygen areas for the anaerobic bacteria to grow but we're going to discuss some of the ways some of the new new uh, technology out there today that will help you to remove nitrates from your aquarium, keeping them relatively low. But let me say in this video that the number one way to keep a check on nitrates is through uh, good aquarium husbandry. Not overfeeding, making sure that uh, you're doing water changes and keeping your, your stock limits within reason. All right, I don't know if it's been five minutes yet, but um, We'll go ahead and take a look at the, the nitrate test. A lot of you people out there doing your nitrate test, remember there is a second solution that you have to add to the test tube. Don't just add the first one. You have to shake the second one vigorously. All right, we're gonna look here. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see on camera, but right now it is about 10 parts per million with the API test kit. We're going to give a few more minutes for Seachem's test to uh, fully darken. And I don't do 50% uh, water change every time I do one. I have a 150 gallon aquarium and for me to do a 50% water change I would have to mix up 75 gallons of water. I have a 20 gallon sump. I know there's displacement with the rock, all of that, but I have close to 150 gallons in my system. So I would need to do a 75 gallon water change in order to do a 50% water change. Uh, anything less than a 50% water change weekly will not bring your nitrates below the rate of production. What I'm saying is if your aquarium is producing, let's just say 10 milligrams per liter or parts per million of nitrates a week, then as time goes by, if you're doing a 50% water change weekly, 
your levels will never drop below 10% unless you are utilizing some other method to remove nitrates from the aquarium. If you're going longer than weekly, then your nitrates are going to build up gradually over time. Anything less than 50%, your nitrates will build up gradually over time. For example, let's take 10 milligrams per liter weekly, do a 50% water change. At the end of the week, you're going to have 10 milligrams or 10 parts per million. After a 50% water change, your nitrates will be at 5 parts per million. One more week goes by and the nitrates will increase to 15 parts per million. Do a 50% water change on that and your nitrates will be 7.5 parts per million. One more week goes by, add 10 parts per million to 7.5, you're at 17.5 parts per million. Do a 50% water change, your nitrate level will be 8.75 roughly after a 50% water change. The following week it'll be 18.75. The good just you can write it down on paper, but ultimately your nitrates will level off at the rate of production if you're doing a 50% water change. Anything less than that, and they will steadily increase over time. But okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the results of the the CCM nitrate test. This is more accurate than the API but this goes from zero parts per million or milligrams per liter up to 50 and you slide the little chart here and right there I don't know if you can see that well but that's 10 milligrams per liter or 10 parts per million and I'm not doing a 50% water change like I said on this aquarium I do anywhere from a 40 to 50 gallon water change weekly and over time my nitrates will go back down close to zero almost undetectable they were just below two before the placostomus died but things happen much more slowly in the anaerobic world than they do in the aerobic world and the types of media that I'm going to talk about in my next video doesn't it doesn't happen overnight you got to give it time so I'm going to conclude this video showing you that my test right now with the API is around 10 parts per million with uh, CCHEM's nitrate test kit it's between seven and a half and 10 parts per million. So guys uh, stay tuned for the next series of this videos and we'll discuss how to effectively remove nitrates from your aquarium. And I appreciate everybody's time watching, and I'll be back with you on the next video. Thanks a lot.